I went after Richard because I heard he was one of the best in the business, and I wanted to be connected with the best in the business, and he turned me down when I came to New York. And then I thought, well, I need more work on my book, and so I went back home and painted some more stuff and came back, and he turned me down again. And then I said, okay, well, maybe I need more work. And so I went home, and I worked really hard and did other jobs. In the meantime, and had him in a portfolio and came to New York with what I thought was going to be just right. I him to say yes, and he turned me down a third time. So I gave up on Richard Solomon completely and uh, said, I am story. not going after that guy anymore because he just does not want me. I can, I can figure this out. So I went after uh, other agents and did other work. And I had some pieces in the Society of Illustrators show because I was going after the shows to try to get my work out there and get it in front of people. Uh, and Richard called me because he saw one of my pieces. And I think he forgot that I'd been in three times. And uh, so I turned him down, <laughs> which felt really great. <laughs> no thanks. So uh, some time went by, and he wasn't going to take no for an answer, so he called me back. And I said, no, thanks. <laughs> time number two. And, uh, and finally, some more time went by, and he called me again, and I turned him down the third time. Yes. <laughs> and, and I hung up the phone and went, I'm an idiot. And I thought about it a few minutes and called him back. I said, we need to talk. I, I called him, and we started talking and working things out. And I, I was used to getting rejected a lot, because um, even RISD turned down my portfolio, and I sent it in from high school back in the 70s. And I'm back. <laughs> uh, I just had to get that. In. Yeah, good for you. Uh, but <laughs> I bring that up because uh, rejection has been um, actually a large part of my career. Uh, and you may find that too. But I didn't take no for an answer and I kept going. And that's what you, you guys need to hear. Uh, constantly going after what you envision in your head about what you want to do with your painting and, and illustration in general and probably art in a, in a bigger picture is entirely up to you. It's entirely up to how much you want it. And I'm probably here to say it's not much uh, to do with talent as much as it is to do with, he doesn't believe, as much as it is to do with your determination.